Done did some dirt and I can't take it back So I see damn if niggas catch my ass without the strap Boy, Catch a lot and I'ma smoke him like some fucking pack Clean my beef, I got the drop where he be napping at Kick a door one in the trap where he be trapping at Duct tape laying down and I take his pack Pussy nigga try to run, I hit him in his back You ain't no boss when you get fronted, that's my brother's pack Pun that shit a fact, nigga Alright, so let's talk, man. Tell me your story. Tell me your story. story. What's going on, man? What's the man? Yeah. True Vision, we here with another True Stories. I got my dog, Pat Gambino, man. How you feeling, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good, bro. My boy, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you inviting me into the into the home studio, man. You already know, bro. Little, little setup you got here, man. You For already sure. know, bro. For sure. So what's up, man? Um, for the people who don't know you, man. Tell the people a little bit about you, man. You know what I mean? You're a musician. You know what I mean? Let them know where you're from. And, and tell them a little something. Man, I'm Pat Gambino, straight out the West Side, man. GG Gang, Trigger Stepping, man. Shout out all my guys, man. Look, I'm a CEO of Stoner Gang Productions. For those who don't know me, got my little brother under me, SK, man. We doing our thing, man. We've been doing our thing. Mm -hmm. Stoner Gang Productions, you can follow us anywhere, man. Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, all that. Stoner Gang Productions. Right. Shout out SK, man. Bro, be going hard, man. I swear. It's my nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, so, um... Stoner Gang, that's your that's your label, right? Yeah, that's my label. So what's it like, man, being a young CEO, man? Like, what's the what's the, what's it like making the moves and, and, and really taking that role on, man? I mean, it's cool for the most part, bro. But when you got people under you, it get like it's, it get to be a headache, man. It get to be a headache, but shit always come into play when you're a boss and you know what you're doing, man. Right. Shit so, always come into play. So tell the people that if somebody never heard your music, like explain your style a little bit, like you know what I mean, like what, what, what would you consider yourself? I consider myself uh, just a real nigga. I say what's on my mind, what, what type shit I'm really on. You know what I mean? Like, niggas be cold cappers, man. Sometimes I just get in a booth and just say what type shit I'm on. Right. And just don't even write nothing. Just straight throw a beat on and do my thing, bro. So you more like turned up, you talking shit, you more laid back type of rapper? Like, what, what I be doing? talking my shit, bro. Yeah. I be talking my shit. Yeah, <laughs> I be I talking my shit. Know. Yeah, I be I talking know. my shit, yeah. bro. So... You um you from Pittsburgh, you know what I mean? Well, you, what you said, the, the West Side, right? Yeah, the West Side. So tell the viewers Greenway. a little bit. Tell the viewers a little bit what it was like growing up on the West Side uh, of the city, man. Man, it was hard. It was hard, man. For and when I was younger, it was real cool. But around when I was like twelve, shit got real. Mm -hmm. Like shit got real. That's when I got exposed to a lot of shit that was going on. Right. Like I ain't know really what was going on up until then. Shit got real. Right. Shit got real. Yeah, Pittsburgh is. Definitely wild, man. Um, yeah, I, I just seen a lot of wild shit just coming up too. So I already yeah, know. yeah. You know I mean? So, who would you consider like some of your musical influences? You know what I mean? And, and coming up, you know what I mean? Old, new, you know what I mean? Some people that you, that you that, that motivate uh, you to really take this music serious. Pock and Hove. Okay. Pock and Hove. Okay, definitely. Pock and two Hove. Goes. Two goats. Yeah, two goats. Yeah. Pock and Hove. I used to fuck with uh. Juice man, OJ the Juice man. I used to fuck with him heavy, okay. but definitely, definitely, hey, yeah, 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 definitely yeah, pocking, yeah, 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 right, definitely. So, when did you decide to start taking music serious? You know what I mean? What was that moment that you was like, all right, man, um, I'm taking this music? Well, before you answer that, yeah. when did you start making music? When did you start rapping? Man, I made. I think it was like ten years ago. It was like ten years ago. I just came home. And I heard my nigga Smoke make a song. And I'm like, hey, nigga, you really went to the stool, man? You went to the fucking stool and made a song? Nigga, what type of shit is you on? You a rapper now? Yeah. Nigga told me, yeah. And he took me to the booth. I did my first little verse. I brought it home. I'm all like, man, you a rapper now? You a rapper now? So I'm like, nigga, that's what I'm doing now. And right. I was, I was getting better as the years going, but I just started taking this shit real serious. I want to say like two years ago, two, three years ago. Right. That's So that was yeah. my next question. What was that like? That moment that you was like, "All right, I'm gonna start taking this music serious. I'm gonna start investing in getting videos and investing in band. You got the whole studio set up. Yeah. What was that moment that what what, what hit you? It was like, "All right, man, this is something I gotta start doing." Uh, I, it was hard for me to get studio time. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people would always like they they like fucking with niggas that got a name. You know what I mean? So that that got a name regardless because they want a name off them niggas, I guess, bro. But right. I'm just like. It's too hard to get a stew session because every single time you hit them, they either want 
more cheese or they don't they act like they ain't open they they're too good to work with you so i'm like all right well i'm gonna just learn this shit myself right. picked up a camera learn how to do that a little bit right. you know what i mean and i'm just like i'm gonna just try to do it myself that's where stoner gang productions came in at we was rna but stoner gang productions came out when i wanted to just pick up a camera and just try it yeah. you feel me you can't be scared to try it so i just tried it you know what i mean right. and, and we just went from there yeah i remember you was doing those videos and stuff too yeah like that's, that's that wave, man. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. If you so, know what you're doing, just keep on going. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, for the people that... What's, what's your style like in the studio? Like, you you a freestyler? You um you come with your music written? You know nah. what I mean? What's your, what's your style like? Straight off the dough. Off the dough? Off the dough. I don't I don't write nothing. I right. wait until... I, I, I used to think that was weird. Because I, I was like, why am I not able to write when I'm at home? I got a whole week to write. Nigga, give me a beat. I got a whole week to write, and I just don't write nothing. Get to the stew and just like really say what's on my mind when I'm in the studio. Right. I don't feel like you say what's really on your mind when you have a whole lot of time to think about it. What's on your mind, you should let it come out as soon as it's in your head. Exactly don't write it down, don't translate it, nothing. Just straight do it. Yeah, 100%. yeah just straight do it. 100%. Yeah, I understand it. You know what I mean? So, um, what you working on right now? Like, you know what I mean? Um, we got. Massive videos, you know what I mean? Yeah. We talk about all the videos that, that we shot together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, tons of them. We then went to Ohio. Oh, man. Shot on the water, the frozen water. We yeah, went, frozen lake. You know First thing could ever like, do it. Yeah, like we, we, we did a lot of stuff. So what you got in the works right now so the people know? Uh, I just did a video yesterday with my boy Smokey Bands. We got a song. It's called Life I Live featuring Smokey Bands. We got that coming out soon. I should be, preview should be dropping Saturday. Be on the look on that. Uh, Smokey. Then we got this coming up, you know what I mean? It's going to be heat. I'm telling y'all, man. SK got this little mixtape he's working on. He's been coming up, so, you know what I mean? He took a little break, but he's back now. Uh, I just been working on actually just running the studio, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've really been chilling with the music, but I've just been focusing on running my studio right. so far. Right, right. This month, at least. That's good. That keeps you balanced, you know what I mean? Running exactly. Running business and bouncing back, and you know what I mean? Jumping exactly. the music thing right now. So, um... Few more questions before we get out of here. How do you feel about the uh, uh, the music scene in Pittsburgh right now? You know what I mean? Like, what's, what's your take? On it? To be truthful, man, I feel like it's corny. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's it's corny. It's just getting corny. So it's, it's a bunch of niggas that just following after the next nigga. Yeah. They don't want to see different. That's why every music video is looking the same, sounding the same, and just. You have to look different. Like, I don't see no different in the city right now. I see everybody doing the diss songs, which is cool. That's cool, you know what I mean? Because they're keeping it every... They're keeping it normal, you know what I mean? In the in the, in the the studio and everything. But, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I feel like if you're the GOAT and lyrically the GOAT, just do it. Show them. Yeah. You ain't got to diss nobody. Nobody got to diss you. If they diss you, leave it alone, man. Yeah. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. If you're the GOAT, you're the GOAT. You're yeah. always going to be the GOAT. Yeah, I feel the same way. So what do you think we need to do? Like, what's going to really, like, give us that, that oomph to move forward? Like, you know what I mean? Because we got the wave. We got so many talented people here. We got talented musicians, camera people, engineers. Like, what you think? You know what I mean? What you think we need as a unit? Because I'm just asking because I don't really know. Like, um, you know I mean? I'm just wanting to get people's opinion. Less selfish artists. Yeah. Uh, see, you as a cameraman, you're cool. You know what I mean? Like, you... You help out with, with stuff like that. You don't take your publicity and run with it. Right. That's what the problem is with these artists. They get 100,000 views and then want to charge 100,000 for a verse. Mm -hmm. Little do we know those views might not even be real. You know what I mean? So it's all about, even if it is real, stick together. Do a feature with the people that's coming up. If they don't, do a feature. You never know what's going to come out of that. You never know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just stick together. You know what I mean? Like There's a lot of selfishness going on in the city. I feel like if you stick together like these other cities do... We're unstoppable. There's too much talent in the city. There's way too much. Way too much. Way too much. Yeah, I feel the same exact way, bro. I feel like if we just... And it'd be sounding like so lame, like, oh, we work together. But literally, if we really work together and support the dope stuff that's coming out the city, yeah. man, we'll go crazy. That's what I'm yeah, saying. That's what I'm saying. And then that's the one thing that they're slacking at. If your views ain't up there already, they don't want to hear that shit. They don't want to hear that shit. Nobody wants you to write on a wall. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Right. You know what I mean? They get tagged. They untagged themselves. You know what I mean? They don't want to hear that shit. You know what I mean? You got to already be up there. But <laughs> the underdogs is coming up soon, man. Just be on playing yeah. Stoner Gang. Just remember that. Stoner Gang. Yeah. Stoner Gang. We coming up. 
Definitely. Y'all definitely doing your thing, man. And, and I think one of the keys to y'all success and to everybody's success is just being consistent. You yeah. Know what I mean? Just yeah. standing in people's face like, you, you know what I mean? You're going to get known. You're going to get noticed. So When your time come. Yeah, it do. Yeah. It do. Yeah. So this is one of my final questions. We're going to switch gears real quick. You okay. Know what I mean? We're going to talk about something real, you know what I mean? Because we're going to talk about uh, fatherhood because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a dad, you know what I mean? You're a dad as well. So explain to the people... You know what I mean? That what it's like balancing being a parent and you know what I mean, doing this music and, and, and working and, and just balancing everything in your everyday life. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's a challenge. You know what I mean? But people yeah. don't really see what, what goes into you know what I mean. How we making everything work? So just 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 describe a little bit about that. Man, it's hard. It's hard juggling work. It's hard juggling music. Your videos. Your time in the studio. Your time with your family. Like. Sometimes the video shoots take longer than what, what it's supposed to. Uh, you Sometimes you get so tired from just working or just doing hours in the studio that you don't even want to come home and, and, and play with your son, with your daughter, or whatever the case may be, or be around your wife or your girlfriend. You just want to chill and smoke your blunt and just lay it down, you know what I mean? But you got to figure out that balance. If you don't got that balance, it ain't going to work. Your, your support system, your family ain't going to want to support that. Because you ain't balancing the love for your music and the love for your real life. Right. That music shit comes second all the time regardless, you know what I mean? But you got to make sure the fam cool first, then you go and do that music shit because yeah. it's not going to work. Yeah, I think th that's a great answer, you know what I mean? And I've been doing this, you know what I mean, at a, a nice level for like 10 years. And that's yeah. what I've really noticed. Like one of the most important things is balancing, you know what I mean, real life and, and the business and making sure you give your family that time and making sure you give your kids that time. So, right. You know what I mean, I think that's definitely important. I think that's a, that, that was an excellent answer. No doubt. So the last, the last um, question we got here is um, you walking down the street, you know what I mean, and you see yourself from 10 years ago. What you going to tell your, yourself from 10 years ago? Man, quit, quit doing all the dumb shit. Quit doing all the dumb shit. It ain't going to get you nowhere. You're just gonna be washed. You know what I mean? You're just gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be dead or in jail, man. Go find a job, go go graduate, go get your diploma, go do something, pick up a hobby, go do something, man, because you're gonna be you're gonna be in trouble. Just figure out something else to do, man. You you on the wrong path. Right. Right. Dope answer. Real quick, describe what's it like working with True Vision, real quick. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> working with True, man, the shit. We done do all type of crazy shit, man. It's he always willing to do what he got to do to get that crazy ass shot. We done took this nigga to the third, the shit. We done took this motherfucker in the middle of a frozen lake. <laughs> in the middle of a frozen lake in the middle of the winter time. Shit, he done traveled. Man, he's willing to do whatever he got to do to get that perfect shot for you. So just, if you're looking for a, a dope ass cameraman that's willing to get the right shots for you, holla at my nigga True Vision. My man, appreciate that, man. No doubt. And make sure y'all motherfuckers tune in, man. I got this. I got this uh, article about to drop on Double XL. It's not going to be on the front cover. It's going to be on the first cover as soon as you turn the page. It's not going to be on no front cover shit, but we on the come up, man. I just was in a Source magazine and all that shit, man. We coming up. We, we turning up. Stoner Game Productions. Where can they find you at, man, if they looking for your music online? Uh, we, on, we on Instagram. We on YouTube. Stoner Game Productions, the uh, YouTube page. You can follow us on that. Uh, subscribe to that. The, uh, Kelly, yeah. Dang. James Kelly on Facebook. Yeah, the real underscore Pat Gambino 01 on Instagram. I keep all my previews on there. Facebook James Kelly. I get all my I update everything on Facebook, man. So follow me on Facebook for sure, man. Right, man. Appreciate you, man. No doubt. It's another true stories interview. My dog, Pat Gambino. You already know. It's your man, True Vision. And we out. My dog. Alright, so let's talk, man. Tell me your story. Tell me your story. Tell me your story.